Hey guys, this is Red from Red PlayStation Filmer, and I am here with the Rated D. What's happening guys? I've tested positive for Slack. And today we're going to talk about our top 10 things we want from Sony's press conference at E3 2013. And I am going to let you start first. Alright, so number 10 for me is I want to see the way the console looks. I mean, it's a small thing, but at this point in time I figure like they should show it, <laughs> you know? Yeah, and mine is the exact same thing, what the console looks like. I really hope it looks better than the VCR looking satellite box from Xbox. Yeah. <laughs> so I really hope it looks pretty cool. So for number nine next up, uh, I have Killzone Shadow on multiplayer. I love the multiplayer in Killzone 2. And Killzone 3 was good, but I really want to see them take it back to more like what 2 was. And I really want to see what the multiplayer was like for that. And on my list, I have a new game by Media Molecule. I'm not sure if it'll be Little Big Planet 3 or if it's going to be a totally new IP like they did with the Vita game with uh, Tearaway, which I think would be really cool if the PS4 had an awesome game by that company. So for number eight for me, I have Mac Gameplay. This is a game that they basically say they want to advertise it like it's the crash of the PS4. So I really want to see what the actual game is like because we saw a little bit of the PS4 reveal, but I want to see like a full demo. Okay, on my number eight, I have a new game by Santa Monica. They already said on Twitter that they're working on a new game. Whether it's a new God of War somehow, they've gone as far as they can with that franchise, I think. But if they can make another game out of that or make a whole new IP, I'd be really happy. And for my number seven, I have Infamous Second Son gameplay. Um, I love the first Infamous. I wasn't as big of a fan of Infamous 2, but I really want to see what they're going to do with this one, especially after seeing some of the screenshots. It looks beautiful, especially for an open world. Okay, at my number seven, I have price point. I really hope they keep that under $400 price point. Maybe have two models at $350 and $399. So then you have like a 500 gigabyte hard drive and then like a terabyte hard drive. That'd be really cool to see. And my number six is pricing as well and also the date. So I it's probably going to be released like early November um, or like late October or something. And I feel the same way about the pricing. I want it to be around 400 My number six is a uh, new Final Fantasy, either Final Fantasy 15 or whatever the next one will be. And Final Fantasy versus 13 slash if it's going to be changed to 15. And Kingdom Hearts 2.5 and Kingdom Hearts 3. So all Square Enix stuff kind of put into one. I would really like to see all of that. Yeah, my, my number five is the exact same thing, basically. Like, I really want to see Kingdom Hearts 3, because there was an, a leaked article that came out, uh, I think, early this past week, that said that uh, Square apparently is going to show off Kingdom Hearts 3 in Final Fantasy versus 13 is 15. So I really hope that that turns out to be true. For my number five, I would like to see new Killzone Shadowfall gameplay and a release date, whether it's uh, on launch day or if it's at a later date. I'd just like to see more of Shadowfall. And my number four is a new IP from Sony Santa Monica. Now, I saw a thing that was like Game Directors Live for God of War, and Stig Asmussen, the dude that was like the head dude for God of War 3, had said that he has ideas of where, we could, of where they could go after 3, but, you know, they just released a new God of War, so I'd like to see something new from them, and then possibly bring God of War 4, like, three years down the road. Okay, my number four is free online and PlayStation Plus for PlayStation 4. And my number three is also about PlayStation Plus and free online. Now, I'm the type of dude where as great as PlayStation Plus is, I just prefer to just play online for free. So that's something that I really want to see continued on. Because when you look at Nintendo, the PC, and PS3, they never charge you extra for online. But Xbox always does, and that's something that has always turned me away from them, because it's a pointless fee. So I really want to see the free online continue. My number three is new Vita games. I would really like to see Final Fantasy Ajito 13, or Type Zero is what it's called in Japan now. I'd really like to see that come up. I'd really like to see a new Gran Turismo. And I'd like to see that new Resident Evil that's been leaked. Hopefully that's real. I'd love to see some new Vita games showing off at E3. So my number two, this is a bit different, but I'm a huge Assassin's Creed fanboy, and I really want to see Assassin's Creed 4. But last year they had an exclusive demo for the PS3 conference uh, for AC3, so I'd like to see something similar to that again this year, especially considering the fact that it 
has exclusive PlayStation content, and it, I really want to see it be better than AC3. So that's I, I really want to see what AC4 turns out like. My number two would be Gaikai and backwards compatibility, and I want to see this at launch. I would love to see them actually explain how this is going to work. If you're going to have to pay fifty dollars or a hundred dollar fee one time to play all your PlayStation One, PlayStation Two, PlayStation Three games, and your PSN, all your all your online content, I'd love to see that at launch. I just want them to clear all that up. And my number one thing is we've seen how the Xbox has had so many problems with, uh, you know, the DRM and like used games and all that stuff. And they've never really been clear about it until just recently. So I want to see Sony just shut down all that stuff for their console. Um, I don't want to have any confusion after the conference about what this console does. And I really don't want it to be like the Xbox. I want it to be, you know, consumer friendly. And my number one would be a new Uncharted game or a new Naughty Dog game. Even if The Last of Us would be announced for the PS4 maybe, but I know they're working on a new project. They got two teams, one working on The Last of Us, one working on a new game. I really hope it's Uncharted 4 because I don't want to see Nathan Drake's journey end. That was the top things we want to see from Sony's press conference at E3, and thanks for having the Rated D on here. Thanks for having me, dude. It was pretty sweet. And let me know in the comments what your top 10 things that you want to see from Sony are. And thank you guys for watching. Don't forget the thumbs up, subscribe, and comment below. See you guys.